Another long day at the office. I got uh, I loaded in Crete, Nebraska at Nestle Pre Arena. Chocolate and dog cat food, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I had on. Anyways, took that down to uh, uh, where did I take that? Georgia, somewhere in Georgia. Oh, by Atlanta and delivered that. No, I dropped it at a Pre Arena plant there and got an empty and went up to uh, South Carolina to load Sunday. I was supposed to load Sunday, I said the 6th. So I get up there one o'clock yesterday afternoon, yesterday was Sunday I think, and uh, place all locked up, nobody home. So the guard says, oh, they don't start till six o'clock in the morning. So it's one o'clock Sunday afternoon. I said, oh great, it says I'm supposed to load today. He, he says, no, no, there's no way working now. So, I was eight miles, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I've, been, <coughs> I've been sicker than the dog for two days. <coughs> Woke up with a cold the day I went up to Crete, Nebraska, and I'm getting over it now, it's getting better. But geez, the first two days I thought I was dying. I didn't think it was COVID, it felt like just a cold, you know, when you get a cold, you know how it feels stuffy head and runny nose and sneezing but I didn't have any temperature or any, any body aches or chills or nothing like that so I just drank lots of shakes with all the vitamins and minerals in them took some Tylenol put Vicks on my chest when I went to sleep and dude each day's been better I'm, I'm almost over it now still a little bit stuffed up so anyways where was I oh so Yesterday morning, no, this morning, today's Monday, I got up at 3 o'clock and I uh, had coffee and everything at the truck stop where I went yesterday and parked and headed back over to the place where I was supposed to load and got over there and backed in the dock. When them guys all got there at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, whatever time they started, I was already there. And uh, they loaded me. They started on me at 8 o'clock and I was out there at 9 o'clock this morning, 9 o'clock when I got out of there. And I've put in, since 9 o'clock, 686 miles. And I lost, well, I lost time pulling them hills in the Smoky Mountains coming up here. This load is 45,000 pounds. So I'm grossing almost 80,000. I was slow going up the hills. Fast going down the other side, but slow going up the other one side. So that cost me a little bit of time. But now I'm almost to uh, Champaign, Illinois, I think, yeah. Let me look at the map here. I believe that's where I'm at. I'm in a rest area, actually. No, yeah, almost to Bloomington. I'm through Champaign. I'm almost to Bloomington. Uh, I said I drove six something today. If you are out of hours of service driving time. Shut up. She yelled at me as I was trying to get to this rest area. It was about six miles away, and I had two minutes left to drive, so before I pulled in here, Timothy J. Spears is in violation of hours of service. Blah, 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 so shut up. So, uh, anyways, I'm logged off now. So, that's what I do. I'll log off, and then I, tomorrow, when I log in, it'll ask me to explain the driving time where nobody was logged on, and I'll just type in there for an answer. I don't know. It wasn't me. It's a prototype. It's a self-driving truck. They're testing them out. There was nobody driving it. I was in the sleeper. I so far I haven't gotten in trouble for that, but I've been known to drive for four or five hours logged off that thing. They haven't said nothing to me. Because I get the freight where it's supposed to go on time. So I logged off at uh, <clears throat> excuse me. What time is it again? Oh boy, let's see here. I already got my next trip, by the way, too. It came through today. I'm going to be loading in uh, when I get when I get.